Hi guys, Alex Peak Performance Reviews. Welcome to another vlog and welcome to another video on, yes, the Supra. And you'll probably see from the title, um, it has been kind of a long time coming because I've had the car back quite a while, but I've been going through um, improvements more than anything. I want to say, uh, or I was going to say, should I say, uh, issues, but I suppose they, they weren't really issues because I actually could have run the car and I have been running the car as in turn it over, making sure um, it's all as it should be and just improving a few small little bits. But yeah, that's the key thing. So I'd, I'd been told after the final mapping session that because um, the uh, intercooler that I had on there, the Blitz four inch intercooler, which is quite big, was a restriction up at around the thousand horsepower level and we made 1059 flywheel horsepower. Um, Remain had said to me, um, even at those levels when it gets close to that, at, at high um, load, long period runs, like a half mile, it's, uh, it wouldn't be ideal and, it, and it's better just to replace it at that level anyway. And then going forward, um, we've definitely got more room, probably 0.5 bar, so half a bar of boost, more we can run on the K16 race fuel. So we had to re replace and change that anyway. So we went with a bit, um, so a whiff bits, 5.5 uh, inch um, intercooler, um, which like I say is an absolute monster and it's good for like kind of 13, 1300 kind of um, wheel horsepower, so 15, 1600 horsepower kind of uh, intercooler. Um, but at the levels we're going to be at, it's going to be not touching the sides, which is really good. But we put that on there. You would have seen from some of our previous videos. If you haven't, obviously, take maybe a look up uh, top right corner. Um, but yeah, we've done that. It's on the car. So the car is basically now ready to run. I haven't run it. I've run it actually a few times, but not much. Um, Remain had a remote mapping session with me up near Snetterton. I went out on it um, this week, just gone. And um, yeah, it was amazing. He was just basically setting up um, just a... Uh, making sure airflow and everything and uh, fueling was good for the changes that we've done, which are minor changes, but they will can will and can make big difference. Um, so yeah, uh, it got to a point where um, the car was ready to really um, jump on on every gear and just basically start to enjoy and for me to get used to it. So um, I'm basically gonna go for a drive today. Um, it's really nice weather and it's coolish at the moment, even though I've got a t-shirt on, but um, I, I'm going to go out. Um, I've got a few things I've got to do, so I may change the shirt in a bit. And I'm going to be going out, and my friend is going to be turning up, Lewis. Um, so hopefully you're going to see a reaction video from myself and Lewis. It will be the first time where I'm pro properly driving it hard, I think, really. Um, I've just got to the, to the point where I knew the car's where I need it to be. So I just need to get confident in the car. Um, I'm going to go out in the car on the low boost setting because uh, I haven't touched any of the biggest set, higher settings yet because... Um, the first setting is pretty crazy. The first setting was, I think it's 700 wheel horsepower. So it's like 800, I think it's 833 flywheel horsepower. So it's just mental. So uh, that it is very, very quick. Um, and I've been in some quick cars. I've been in a 720S, um, uh, driven a um, McLaren 720S and that feels somewhere there or thereabouts at that level. Um, and obviously this is just a manual car, so uh, it's always trying to catch up things like that, um, you know, through gear changes, which you'll never do on a manual. But, you know, that is that kind of level of quickness. It's, it's insane. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's shut up and uh, I'll take you in the car for our in-car review and drive. Yeah, you might not be able to hear me very well, guys, but I've got Lewis, my mate, um, and we're just going to film a bit of reaction. I've, I have done a few little minute pulls with him, but not no proper pulls. So we're just going to get his reaction. I haven't been out of the car that much. You might get a bit of a reaction from me. Uh, we're on the low boost setting, which is circa 1.4 bar, which is about 800-ish horsepower. Um, and that's all I'm going to do today, because, uh, uh, yeah, just because I'm, I'm not used to basically any of the other settings yet. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to get on a, a good straight road. Car's got a bit of a TPS issue on uh, in second gear, or like a, um, a kind of fueling issue, um, or should I say throttle position issue? It just needs some fuel enrichment, I think, low down, um, and then once you get going, it kind of irons out. So as we'll see, it, especially in the other gears. So but yeah, we'll uh, hopefully won't get too much wind buffer in. I'll uh, do these windows up so you can hear me a little bit. But obviously, I don't want to do it too much.
last is uh, he's an underscore. Uh, he's an uh, understatement. Uh, yeah, Lewis, what do you think? Yeah. If people can hear you, what? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It is far. Unreal, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, we're, we're obviously doing only, only legal speed, so it's all fine. Um, uh, it, it is mental bar, so just give it one more ball. how to build a 
sweet boat and this is an absolute weapon. Um, also, massive thanks to the guys at Race Cal, obviously Romain, uh, Romain Levest from Race Cal. Uh, links in the bio to all those people, massive thanks to those guys and uh, yeah, I, I, like I say, I, I couldn't have done it without these guys and uh, yeah, it's been, it's been worth it. Let's, let's go for one more. guys um just obviously just turn the car off you can hear the turbo still spooling or back spooling shall i say just basically from it being a dual ball bearing um bit of wheel turbo but i'm just yapping on um hope you enjoyed the video um yeah it's just like i say at the moment i'm not putting on uh, any boost other than uh number one which is the lowest boost setting which is still circa 800 horsepower like i said to you earlier on the car is just mental. Uh, traction control settings are quite high still on every single setting at the moment. But yeah, at the moment it's absolutely epic and I adore this car. I just think with lots of things I've done now with it, it's just looking really sweet. Um, I just, I, I'm not sure whether I told you actually in the video, I can't remember. Um, I've put the drag radials on. Um, they're Street ETs, they're Mickey Thompson. Um, street ETs, I don't know whether you can see. Mickey Thompson's big chunky boys. Um, 28540s um, so lots of grip um, it feels like the traction control is not impeding it at the moment so it's really really good um, traction seems good in that setting um, obviously uh, we're gonna I think to be honest with you for road um, the best thing for road is that first setting and it's still pretty manic you just gotta be a bit careful but 
Cyvex traction control is very cle clever. But we're going to do a lot more with the development of this car. Um, I am going to JM Race Wars um, this coming weekend. Um, there's lots of little small bits I still need to do, as well as running a different bonnet with a hole in it um, to allow me to run that little stubby exhaust. Um, so it may mean that unless for some reason I feel like I want to run it without the bonnet on, which I'm not sure I'm keen on doing, it may mean that we only run this car on um, low settings on the race fuel or um, just pump fuel. So it may mean that the results are not going to be out of the ordinary but um, the platform to do lots of half mile stuff and other stuff with this throughout the year is going to be high. There's lots of things we can do, uh, lots of cool things we're going to do while we're at JM Race Force as well. Anyway, I'm yabbering on. Um, you'll probably see from my mate's reaction, it, it was a cool video, it was enjoyable, and it was an enjoyable drive. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed it as well. Um, I think I had to bleep it quite a few times there. But yeah, no, anyway, I'm going to get lots of more content on this for you, including some half mile drag stuff. Um, and yeah, just lots of videos, maybe some reaction videos from people. Um, guys, what do you think? Uh, hit us up in the comment section. Uh, not enough people comment on videos and we like it. We like to interact with people. Uh, comment, let us know what your thoughts are on the car, what you think of the look of it, um, what you think of the setup. Um, and what you think of the video and everything just ask us any questions you've got about the car or anything about the channel and uh, Keep following us and thank you so much guys uh, as always like share comment and subscribe and we'll see you again in the next one Bye for now